I'm Brett Kashinsky of the Lansing Parks and Recreation Department, and today we're going to be talking about bocce ball. This is something that we put in a new court within our park system. This is the only one that we have here at the Alfreda Schmidt Southside Community Center. And we want to spend some time today talking about the court that we just installed here, uh, which is right in front of the community center at 5825 Wise Road and also to talk about the game itself, how to play, the rules of the game, how you can get the equipment, and how you can come out here and enjoy this great resource. Now you can play bocce ball on regular grass or in open area, but we build a court here, something with side walls to be able to contain it. Uh, we have the measurements here as far as a proper length for the bocce ball court. So this is something that we want to invite everyone to come out and give it a try. Great. I would like to play bocce ball out here and I was wondering, I heard that you guys were had a set that we could check out to play. We do, so all we ask is that you return it. But yes, you're more than welcome to our set. You can go get started out on the court. Awesome, thank you. And the rules are in it here yep. and the rules are posted out there. Yes. Excellent, I appreciate it. Thank all you. All right, thank you, enjoy. So I'm here with Marcus Wells. Marcus is the community center programmer here at the Schmidt Center. And I'm gonna be playing against Marcus today. We're also gonna have some kids coming out because we are in the middle of our summer camp program. And there are three different colors in the bocce ball set. My team, or me, I will be the red team. Marcus will be the dark green. And then black, man, I might be colorblind. And then, uh, we have the Polino ball, or otherwise known as the Jack ball. One person will toss that um, down the court, then it is the other person's turn to try and get closest to it. You get points by being the closest to the ball or even up against the ball. We are going to play um, where you can't bank it off the side wall. So it has to go past the mid court line, which we have white identifying where the mid-court line is. We also have a white line here at the start that we cannot go past. I, You would toss first, you would throw out the jack ball past half court, right. which we have marked in white, and then I would throw uh, my ball and the closest to it then gets the points, correct? The person not as close would go again until they get closer to the person that's already close. Yes, and then and then so at the end, then we count up the points. But right. yes, if you don't, uh, if you throw real good on the first one and get it up close, the other person doesn't get closer. They have to keep going right. Right. and and throwing, trying to get inside right. of it. Otherwise, you automatically got a point, and you may get more points right. after that. Right. So you can get up to four points if all your four uh, colored balls are closer to the white ball or the jack. Um, so, if all four of yours are closer, you get four points. One point per ball that is closest. Right. And then we go to what score? Uh, you can go up to, depending on uh, how many people you have or what you feel comfortable with, 11, 15, or 21, um, or really any number that you decide. So, in terms of number of players, you can play one-on-one, -on -one, or you can play in teams. Uh, multiples of two really work best. So, two people, uh, four people, I guess you could play uh, six people, but that would be difficult. Eight people would also work, and then if it's with eight people, then you only have one ball per person. Correct. Whereas we would be, if we're playing one-on-one, -on -one, we'd be throwing four. Right. All right. Have you had a lot of people coming out to uh, play this? And um, it seems pretty simple to come in and check out a, the set from you. Yeah, we've had a couple groups come in um, and they get pretty competitive, and, which is good. Um, they have fun doing it. So it's a, it's a good game. So again, you can bring your family out here. It is for all ages. We have our senior program here. I know we had an event where we had LPD out here versus right. the fire department. Right. Uh, so it's really, really a game for all ages and all skill levels. Right, that's correct. Go ahead. Stop. 
stop, 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 stop. Ooh, that's a hot one. Yeah. All right, we have one point for black. Everybody down there, yes. grab a ball. Don't forget your color. So one thing about checking out the set, and I think it showed, it wasn't that I was the director and I got the uh, set for free. Right. Um, it is free. So it's, explain the system here. It is free. So anyone can come and check them out. Um, it is free, and all you need to do is just tell them you want to play bocce ball, and um, we'll give you the bag of bocce balls uh, to uh, take out and bring out here. You can also bring your own. Um, if, if you have bocce balls of your own, you're more than welcome to come and bring those to play to play here. And so this facility too, this isn't something that we rent out. Uh, this is a drop-in facility, so first come, first serve. Uh, and that, that way too, if you come out here and there's other folks, it's good to play other people and get in competition with other folks as well. Right, yep, so anyone that comes out, you can, you can bring your own balls, you can use ours. Um, play as many games as you want and as late as you want, as long as you can see is what I guess. So, um, but yeah, and, and as long as the, the course is clear or the, the field of play is cleared off. Um, if not, we do have a rake that you can borrow to rake it off and, and clear all the debris off if we need to. Yeah, because it's important you want a nice smooth shot and you saw that where we were just kind of, especially after a rain, smoothing out uh, any of the bumps that may be in it to give it a nice smooth course. Again, the game is also played on grass, um, usually on a short grass, like a fairway or a green is ideal. Uh, it can also be played on the surface like this, and we use our infield surface that we use on ball fields, and we put that in the uh, in the game, in the container, inside the walls here, and that seems to be working great. Yeah, it, it is good, it is fast, so you, you do have to adjust to the speed of the, of the playing field um, if you're used to grass so it will be a little different um, but yeah it is definitely a good a good surface to play on don't pick those up right here don't pick these up don't pick them up don't pick them up wait black that was black so it's tied one one Here we are on a 95 degree day uh, with the humidity up there as well. I know we have a we have a heat warning coming this afternoon here, but great game to play uh, in the outdoors, even on a hot day. Um, this will be open 365 days a year, so yeah. folks can come out and play it. Um, but we learned a few things today. One, we're going to toss a measuring tape into yeah. that. Uh, yeah. That's into the bocce idea. ball set yeah. so we don't have to do the stepping right, it off right. uh, every time because it does get uh, precise here as it gets closer. I think the other thing you saw is you and I played that you can't bank it off the back wall right. but for the kids uh, we played that they couldn't. That seemed to work really well. Yeah I think we can. you can adjust the, the rules based on age and, and skill level I think would be the best way to about it. And so a lot of these kids were introduced to the sport for the first time today. Very easy game to play. So come on out, see Marcus or see the staff here at the Schmidt Community Center. If you don't have the set, we again, we check that out here. And we have shade tree here and you can enjoy or come on in and take a break into the community center, enjoy some of the activities that they have going on in there. But we want to see you playing bocce at the Schmidt Center soon.